Initially, nine locks were used in a temporary arrangement to lower and raise the canal across the River Great Ouse. And in 1799, William Jessop designed a three-arch masonry aqueduct and embankment to cross the river. This brick structure opened in 1805, but it wasn't long before a section of the embankment gave way, and in 1808 the whole aqueduct collapsed, cutting off the canal. Fortunately, the temporary locking system across the Great Ouse Valley was still in place and was used to bypass the failed structure. Engineer Benjamin Bevan was tasked with designing a replacement, and as a big fan of Thomas Telford's iron trough aqueduct at Poncasatli, he was determined to design and build the world's first wide canal cast iron trough. The iron units were cast at the Ketley foundry at Colebrookdale and transported to Cosgrove by canal, where they were assembled and erected on site. The new aqueduct was unveiled in January 1811, and shortly afterwards extra floor arches and ribs were added to strengthen the structure. The aqueduct has two cast iron trough spans, supported by a central masonry pier. The trough is 15 feet wide, 6 foot 6 inches deep, and runs for a length of 101 feet. The canal surface is about 40 feet above the river. You can drop down from the towpath via a Cattle Creep tunnel to river level, where you can visit the site of the original canal. The route of the old waterway is still discernible in places, and one of the old locks still remains to be explored. <laughs>